My thoughts on Jaguar right. I think she's playing a very dangerous game. I think she does a lot of the shit that she does for attention. And I think she just figured out some shit. I think she figured out that the people, most people, you know, that's online and on YouTube, people love drama. I don't think she's crazy at all. I don't believe about 70% of the shit she says. I believe it's some truth in the things she say. But um, I think she uses this um, internet and YouTube as a way to, for her to make some money right now because she's no longer, <clears throat> you know, invited anywhere in the industry, you know, like she's unable to make money. Um, doing shows, she done talked about everyone. Now, as far as the mental problem thing, I, I you know, she from Philly. I know a lot of females like Jaguar, right? A lot of them. You know what I mean? I don't want to mess up her name, Jaguar, right? Miss Jaguar, right? Yeah. I know a lot of females like that. You know what I mean? I grew up around them my whole life. Say things uh, for attention when they can't have their way. They make up shit. They lie on you. Um, you know, they just, they, they, it's hard to explain. I mean, Kevin Sam, you said it one time, he said, Philly girls is, is difficult. Philly women are difficult. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that say, um, Jaguar, Jaguar right is, um, you know, represent for all Philly women. No, I'm not saying that, but you know, she have that mentality of a lot of Philly women when they're scorned, when they're uh, hurt, you know, like, you know what I mean? <clears throat> it's like that old school, um, I can't have my way mentality. I think she's mad because when on, on her rise, I don't think she ever got to complete the assignment that she set out for herself. I don't think that she reached the level where she wanted to be. And at the time when she was on a rise, you had artists like Jill Scott that was supposed to be like her best friend blowing up right past her. Mary J. Blige right past her. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a lot of people coming out, like just doing a thing. You got Eve, you know what I mean? Eve was a rapper, but you know what I mean? I ain't ever say nothing about you. I'm just saying like she looking at all these females is Meanwhile, she chasing industry dick. You know what I mean? She's in a marriage that she's un unhappy about. You know, she's unhappy, unhappily married, you know, with a child. And, um, you know, she, she feels as though she got all these connections and, you know, everyone around her is blowing up. And she, she's really angry at herself for the choices that she made. She really needs to seek therapy. You know what I mean? But I think that she's one of them people that, that's too smart for her own good. And um, I see right through it. You know what I mean? Because she's an intelligent woman. You could tell she's very intelligent. You could tell she's very talented, gifted. And back in those days, she was a beautiful girl. She's a beautiful woman. You know what I mean? <clears throat> you know, you know, time and, and weight. You know, a couple years later, she don't look like that. Like, I mean, no disrespect to her, but I'm just calling it like I see it. And, uh, you know, and the reason why I can kind of, um, you know, vouch for what I'm saying is because two people, I didn't even really, I never was a big Jaguar right fan, even though I'm from Philly. I never was a big Roots fan. You know what I mean? All that um that 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 black Afrocentric music, I wasn't really on that. You know what I mean? I was a Beanie Seagull nigga, Jay Z, all, all you know what I mean, major figures. I grew up to that type of shit. I was in the streets, so I wasn't really big on that type of music. You know what I'm saying? So um it was two people. One of them was a very close friend of mine, a female. She said she um, you know, she used to sing. And she went to like, I don't know if it was like a showcase or something like that. And this was Jaguar White. 
Miss Jaguar Wright, I that's hard to say. Try to say that shit five times fast. She said that Miss Jaguar Wright was like very big headed and ignorant towards her. You know what I'm saying? And it was because like now this girl that I'm talking about that was a singer that was trying to, you know, show her talent at the showcase. I believe it was a showcase. And um, you know, the, the fellas was on a clap before and she was a beautiful girl. Uh dark skinned um model type you know what i'm saying she was she was very beautiful and um miss jaguar right was kind of like she said it this was before you know what i mean i like i knew who she was but i didn't really you know what i mean she was like yeah the, the girl jaguar right she was there and she was just so rude and mean to me and she she cut my show short like because i was getting so much attention like she just was like blowing me off like I was like, wow, damn. And that always stuck with me. Like, if she was just like her attitude. I think she was around her more than that one time. But I think that one time, you know, that that happened, she, it really, you know, fucked with her. You know what I'm saying? But she always said that she was, like, very nasty and rude and just ignorant to her. And she thought that it was because she was jealous of her. Like, looks and the attention that she was getting and thinking that she was about to take her spot. You know what I'm saying? See, sometimes when people tell a story, they leave out the, the the fact that, you know what I mean? How you have a problem with everybody? How do you have a problem with this person, that person, that person, that person, this person? You know what I mean? Do you have a friend anywhere? No, it must mean something is up with you. Something is up with you. You can't keep kicking dirt on everybody's name. And, um, you know, coming off as this saint, like you was the fly on the wall catching all this shit that everybody was doing. But what was you doing? Because you was in a mix of that. And um, the other story, I don't even really want to tell the other story because I, I really can't remember everything. But it wasn't good on her end. It was somebody else that was dealing with him with them, like on a uh, management side. And they just had some negative shit to say about her. And that was all around the same time. I was like, damn. And I remember it, it, uh, saying to myself, like, damn, this, this Jaguar right chick, she really something else. Like, she evil. You know what I'm saying? That was the, that was the story that I got directly from people because I was in the industry. I, not in the industry. I was right there, though. I was in the mix, you know what I mean, of a lot of shit. So with her... She just, you know, I think she's using the internet. She uses YouTube just to make a couple of dollars. Just to just to make some money. She ain't really on there to tell no truth or to expose anyone. But she know people gonna click on that shit. Whenever she speak about anybody, these interviewers, you know they're gonna interview. Shit, I would have her on my platform and interview her. And say, let's talk. If it's gonna make my views go up and I can get some YouTube money, why not? Go ahead, talk. I don't mean I agree with you. But if I was the interviewer, it wouldn't go her way because she wouldn't want to be interviewed by me because I'd be like, listen, cut the shit. I just feel like you're lying. Show me proof. You know what I mean? Like the thing she said about Jay-Z and Biggie, like, let's keep it 100. Like a lot of people felt like Puff was responsible for Big. No proof. I don't really believe so. I, I don't want to believe that. You know what I mean? Big and Puff, like, you know what I mean? Legends, I don't want to believe that. But I damn sure don't want to believe that Jay had anything to do with Big. Like, that was his man. It was about to do the commission album. And she like, well, produce the commission album if, you know, blah, blah, blah. What the fuck that got to do with anything? How is just just because they didn't put the commission album out? That, um, you know what I'm saying? That that had, he had something to do with Biggie. That Fat Joe said he, him and Biggie was working on an album and they even got money from like a label to do an album together and shit was recorded that they never put out there. People do songs and never put the music out there. For what? It's for them. You know what I'm saying? It's, it wasn't for everybody. You know what I mean? We would never, probably never ever hear a commission album. Shaq has Biggie versus that he said he would never put out when him and Biggie did a song together. So is Shaq responsible too? Like, come on. Like, people do music. They, I, I done did songs. I probably got over 100 songs that I would never hear again. That's just lost in a vault somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody's hard drive or whatever. Like, you know, 
So, you know, like this is the thing she's saying and she just be all over the place. Then she start working up some fake tears and, you know, I can't take her serious. But I will say she's very entertaining. Like whenever I see her on YouTube, I see an uh, interview, I watch it. I click on it, I watch it. Just to hear what she got to say, you know what I'm saying? Just to hear what she got to say. And, but, but people like that, people don't know this about me. I pray. I pray for people. And I do pray for her. You know what I'm saying? Because, um, you know, I don't think she's she's right. She ain't wrapped too tight, man. You know? I just hope she get it together. But I think she's playing a very dangerous game. But I think at this point, I don't think, you know, she she says, like, yeah, they're going to send people for me and ducking it high. And I think if she come in a space, yeah, somebody probably, boop, pop, bing, one of them females she talking about, Foxy or somebody, yeah, they might go in on her. But I don't think nobody's looking for her. You know, at this point, they like, you know, just let her talk. Whatever. I know I would. I mean, let her talk. I'm not worried about that chick. You know what I mean? But message to you, Jaguar, right? If you see this on YouTube from your, your, your Philly brother, you know what I'm saying? Make your money. Do what you do. But seek therapy and stay in prayer. If this is how you got to feed your family, I ain't going to knock your hustle because YouTube is here. They cutting hell of a checks, hell of a lot of checks to a lot of people. Make your money, but just know you're playing a dangerous game. And uh, shit, come on my platform. I'll let her have you. Let me interview you. I got some things I want to ask you. Like seriously. Welcome Ready TV. Like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Peace and love.